Okay, so I want to show you something. I'm making this video to prove to you that even further that Candy Grand Prix, who has the channel Targeted Individual Psych World, that's where you can find this, what I'm about to show you, and Targeted Individual, who, which is another channel that's owned by a male. I'm going to show you how they have been stalking me and my best friend for years. I'm going to show you pictures of my best friend, and I'm going to show you pictures of Targeted Individual Psych World and targeted individual proving what I am saying. So please watch this whole video. I'm going to show you proof how they have been gang stalking me and my best friend for years. Now the story that you need to know in order to get what I'm about to tell you is that my best friend before he passed away, maybe three weeks or so before he passed away, he told me that he was thinking about cutting his hair. I thought, you know, that's kind of odd. Why would you cut your hair? He's always been about growing his hair out. But, you know, I, some just like subtly told me, you know, just, you know, let's don't talk about it any, you know, more. But I thought to myself, like, why would you, you know, do that? And I just wanted to think to myself, okay, well, maybe he just wants, you know, to switch it up a little bit. But I've never known him out of the 10, 15 years I've known him to want to cut his hair. So in the ninth month right here, my friend passed away in July, July of 2020, which represents that's what the ninth month is. Nine months ago was in July. If you notice, she has hair here. She has hair here. Then she says, I had to get my hair cut off when I got all my hair cut off. So they're emulating things that my friend went through or like they're following something. This dude right here, I found him because I noticed he, he it was like he was emulating my best friend. So I wanted to see if I could find something and I was able to find the comparison. So if you notice right here, he has the long hair. This is the ninth month as well. He has the long hair right here. If you scroll right here, you, it still looks like he has hair. And right here, you can't really tell, but right here, see you at the finish line. You can tell that he cut his hair here. The ninth month in July, the same month that my friend passed away and before he passed away well not before he passed away i told you what happened before he passed away but you know when they're preparing you at the mortuary and everything one of the things they did was they actually cut his hair probably because they didn't know how to do african-american hair i wish i could have done it but they cut his hair and he had like this much new growth so I'm going to show you now pictures of my best friend and how this dude has been kind of emulating my best friend. So first I'm going to show you that I'm telling the truth about that he's, it's going to flip, but you can see. I didn't want to show the whole thing, the whole growth, you know. You can see that right there, the night that's a part of the day that the date he was born and then that July 3rd is when he they said that he was, you know, in the other dimension. So this was him. I'm going to take this part off. This was him, how I know him and how I've, you know, really seen him a lot. As you can see, he has the uh, plaits he used to wear to the side. And in this dude's videos, you'll find that he has that a lot too. And you can also see that he was very stylish. He wore the glasses, not because he needed them, but just to be fashionable sometimes. And um, he loved fashion. He was a very attractive African-American. So you can see that. Um... Also, I want to show you pictures of when he used to be um, a bodybuilder. 
So this right here is when, you know, he loves music and he did um, a little bit of fashion. So everybody else in this picture has, you know, the same shirt. This is when he was a bodybuilder before I knew him. He used to tell me stories about it all the time. And then I finally started seeing pictures. He was so good that he um, would get trophies and awards and things like that. And so I also knew him very well in this you know, image here. I knew him the most like this. The most I knew him like this. And I really knew him like this a lot. He, you can see he has a backpack on. He, he used to wear his backpack all the time. Um, so basically, yeah, this guy has been, see if I can do my finger right. Yeah, he used to wear a backpack. You can see the black strap right there. And, um, you know, so I'm just proving to you that my friend was gang stalked and he had a personality that was very unique for an African American male. This, um, you know, he used to talk or say certain things exactly what this dude is saying in here, but this dude exaggerates it all the time, every day, in a different, you know, in a like just. 100% uh, all the time, all the time, all the time. My friend used to tell me about things similar to what this guy is talking about, which, like I said, was unique and ironic because you don't really hear a lot of African American men talk like that. So, you know, I can get into detail later about some of the things that my best friend was experiencing, but this guy pretty much talks about some of it, but he takes it, you know, really, really far all the time, like throughout the whole day. And so I just wanted to show you those comparisons. My friend was very smart, brilliant. He used to talk to me about these type of things that were going on and he would always help me through the situations that I was going through. I would tell him about what I was going through living in this neighborhood and he would teach me about yeah certain things that people do and like anything anytime things would happen to me I would be like I'm gonna go talk to my friend and let him know what's going on and so we were really close like that when I first met him he told me somebody introduced me to him he told me he's trying to get his life together but these people keep hating on him you know there's a lot of haters and I was just like okay I've heard this story but he literally started glowing and I felt like he was God sent and he was really sent to help me and to show me things and help me to get, get through some of the things I was going through. Like, and it's just like, I feel like people took him away from me. I really do. But I'm not going to get into that right now, but I was so upset when I saw this and I, I saw how my best friend was being targeted and how I've been targeted and I just had the strength to be able to, you know, talk about talk about my best friend and just because justice should be served and proof is what I'm gonna put out there so that people can be the judge for themselves. You tell me what you think, okay? Now, the picture that I showed you, the last picture, that's how I, I knew him, you know, the most. In the pictures that I said that I knew him the most, he always had hair. The shorter pictures that you saw his hair like that, that's when you can actually tell as well that he was younger. And so he always had long hair or hair, at least to shoulder length, when I knew him. I've never seen my best friend with a fade until, you know, he went to the other dimension. So besides pictures that he would show me. So that's my proof. You be the judge.